Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to share my thoughts and to have a general discussion on Nike's brand new and very exciting anti-clog traction technology. Now, for those that don't know what I'm talking about, just a couple days ago, Nike unveiled anti-clog traction, which essentially is a special soft ground pro sole plate that's made from a brand new type of plastic where essentially when you're using them in a muddy environment, a soft ground natural grass plane surface where mud would normally clog up the stud pattern and get stuck to the sole plate, this particular sole plate will not allow mud to stick to it. So essentially you'll have a completely bare base to the bottom of your shoe giving you optimal traction and obviously keeping your feet lighter while you're playing, also making the cleanup job afterwards a lot easier. Now, this is a really, really interesting new technology. And of course, before I get into how this could be such an amazing thing, I wanna say that this is just a press release so far. Nobody's actually tried this. It'll be available to the public as of April 15th in a pack that will include the Phantom uh, 2, the Magista Obra, as well as the Nike Tiempo Legend 6. No Superfly 4 as far as I know, and no Superfly 5 because it's not out till June 2nd. So as far as I know, it'll be just those three shoes and it'll be a limited edition, probably limited quantity pack as well, but something I'm very much looking forward to actually trying out. So again, until we've actually tried this out for ourselves and been able to confirm that this anti-clog system actually works the way it's supposed to work, uh, this video could basically mean nothing, but if it works the way it does, uh, it's supposed to, which I believe it will just based on the press release. I don't think Nike would kind of come out and just make all this stuff up for no reason. Uh, then this is, like I said, a really, really important innovation when it comes to soccer cleats, at least soft ground ones that are going to be used on muddy pitches. So uh, basically the quote from Nike's press release is this, the beautiful game is not played in beautiful conditions. And, and that's a great quote because it really explains what this technology is all about. Uh, this is one of those systems that for me, uh, it's not even something I ever thought about. And I'm somebody who thinks about soccer cleats all the time. So very rarely does something come out and I'm completely shocked and completely kind of in awe of what they've been able to achieve. If, if you really think about it, dirty soccer shoes are just something that you've kind of learned to live with. You play in the mud, your shoes are going to get dirty, you have to clean them off. It's just it's just part of the game. You drive your car around, it gets dirty, you eventually have to clean it. That's the case with pretty much anything. So for Nike to even think about making a material that wouldn't allow mud to stick to it, that to me just kind of blows my mind. I'm really, really excited to try this out and I really think this is an absolutely fantastic uh, idea. Innovation is a word that gets thrown a lot around, uh, gets thrown around a lot, sorry, um, in the in the soccer cleat world. Everything, every time something new comes out, it's an innovation. It's the greatest thing ever. And more often than not, I would say almost 99% of the time, that is completely untrue. When innovation happens, it's most of the time just something different, not necessarily something that's game changing in terms of actual performance. I think a great example of this and what the current trend is in soccer cleats is one, knitted uppers, and two, mid cut uppers. Yes, they're different. Yes, they feel different than a standard leather shoe or a standard synthetic shoe, but is it actually an advantage to wear something that's mid cut or with a knitted upper over, let's say, a Copa Mundial? No, it's just a difference in feel. And for those that watch my channels, you know that my channel, you know that I regularly kind of talk about how shoes are very much based on personal preference. That's really how you should go about choosing any piece of footwear. They make all this variety so you can pick exactly what you like. Is there a performance advantage to wearing a Superfly over a Copa Mundial? No, it's just a different type of feel that one person might like more than the other, which again is why they make all this variety. But when you're talking about a shoe that will repel mud and keep it away from the bottom of your sole plate and stud pattern when playing in a soft ground type environment, that's when there is an actual performance advantage. If you think about what mud sticking to the bottom of your sole plate does, when you're playing in a soft ground environment, it does a couple different things. The first thing is it adds weight to your shoe, which is not as big a deal, but obviously you don't want extra weight on your shoe. That doesn't need to be there. It's just mud clinging to the bottom that will fall off perhaps eventually. It might not, depending on how thick the mud is, but nonetheless, it is adding weight to the bottom of your feet, which technically is somewhat of a performance disadvantage. The big thing though is traction, and this is 
a huge deal when it comes to soccer. And again, I've talked about different stud patterns on my channel before and how, yes, certain stud patterns might perform better than others, but the actual performance difference doesn't necessarily justify or confirm any kind of major advantage. But when you're talking about a soft ground environment where the person defending you has shoes that are completely clogged with mud, leaving them with this much stud being, being able to actually dig into the ground while you have a full length stud with no mud on the bottom of your shoe, you're definitely at an advantage in regards to traction, which is a very, very big deal. And that's why I think that this is one of those features, if it's as good as Nike is saying it is, it's one of those things that is really gonna change the game. And I don't see any other way for brands to, to just not copy this. It's, it's, it's such a good idea. It's such a, a smart thing that, like I said, you would want to have on your shoes. If I'm on the market for a brand new pair of shoes and I regular, regularly play on soft ground where it's very muddy and my cleats are always getting clogged up with mud, if I was gonna buy a high-end shoe, I, I would have a hard time justifying not buying a shoe without this technology if it's available. Uh, just because, like I said, I really feel like this is one of those things that it's gonna offer a true performance advantage. And like I said, that's not something we really, I almost wanna say have ever seen before in the soccer cleat world. So really, really exciting thing. Um, will this be kind of a mainstream thing following this limited edition release? I'm not really sure. Um, they never really specified too much about it past this April 15th limited edition pack. I would assume that depending on how well this pack does, which I assume it'll be doing do really, really well, that they'll probably implement it either on the next models or as soon as possible on the current generation shoes, um, which I hope is the case because I would love to kind of have as many people to be able to have access to this as possible because obviously a limited edition pack it's gonna be a little bit harder to get your hands on if you really want a pair. The other thing I wanna talk about is uh, the actual implementation of this. They never specified that this would be a soft ground only thing, but that's what the pictures in the press release would actually suggest. You wouldn't necessarily need this kind of a technology on a firm ground shoe, just given that mud generally isn't present in a firm ground type environment. However, a lot of people wear firm ground shoes on soft ground and just like a soft ground shoe, the firm ground shoe, given that it's muddy enough, will clog up as well. So this is one of those technologies that I would love to see be implemented on their firm ground line as well. Again, they didn't specify that it wouldn't be on future firm ground models, but like I said, the press release would suggest that this is something that's gonna be exclusive to their soft ground pro lineup, just given that the sole plate, all the sole plates and shoes that they've shown they showed, sorry, were actually soft ground shoes. So that's pretty much it as far as what there is to talk about in regards to anti-clog traction technology from Nike. Really, really exciting. And unlike a lot of innovation out there, I think this is one of those things that actually can be a true game changer and a true performance advantage um, in comparison to any shoe that doesn't have the same technology. Really, really excited to try this out. And hopefully it is as advertised, which, I fully expect it to be. I have some confidence in Nike with this one. So let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. Do you think this is something that will be as good as advertised? Do you think it's a gimmick? Do you think it's not gonna work at all? Uh, what do you guys think? Let, you, let me know down below in the comments. We'll get a bit of a discussion going. And if you have any questions at all regarding this particular technology, leave it down below in the comments as well. And I'll try my best to answer all of your questions based on what I know. So uh, if you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked in the description as well. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.